Hello everyone, Cat McMuffin here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Just sitting here, enjoying the Autumn Plains ambiance. Last episode, we entered Skilo's Badlands and finished it, though it took a really long time. At least, for my standards. It took a really long time to get all of those lava toads. Freaking ice cream screwed me over too many times. But that's all in the past. This episode, we're going to climb up this little spirally ramp here. Let's see what's at the top. Oh, it's legend money bags! Has it that there is a portal to Zephyr here. And legend also has it that I know how to activate it. Furthermore, as I recall, the legend mentioned something about me activating it for uh, a small fee. Man, can he get any douchier? You want 400 gems? No problem. Thanks for the gems, Spyro. With all this cash, I can open a lizard burger shop in Skilo's Badlands. Hey, I was just there. Don't do it. You'll get burned. You'll get burned into a blit. On second thought, Moneybags, you go ahead and open up that lizard burger shop. I'm sure everyone will be dying to see you get burned. <laughs> Hate Moneybags. Anyway, now we're going to travel into Zephyr, my favorite world of the game, for certain. Probably because I love the mini the uh, orb game, mini game, missions in this world. They're just the right type of puzzle that I like. The enemies, on the other hand, are a little bit annoying, as you can see right there. No! Luckily... Luckily, land blubbers are resilient fellows. They can take a bomb in the stomach. So as you can see here, now all the enemies are breeze builders, and all of our allies are land blubbers. Okay, Spyro. Looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. The breeze builders have got us pinned down, and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it. I love how they wear pots on their heads. They're like... They're all uh, like a little Johnny Apple blob. Anyway, now we're going to get started here. All these little chicken things. They're going to be asking for bombs. Definitely a clever twist on the whole mother bird to little chicken bird. Chicken bird? What? I don't even know. It's early in the morning. Shut up. Oh, and they drop bombs on you. As you can see here... Zephyr is far more of a warlike world than Breeze Harbor was. Oh! Man! See, it's not that the Breeze Builders are, are at fault here. They're just attacking whoever comes near because Zephyr attacked them first, I imagine. I mean, if you think about it, Bre uh, Breeze Harbor is just a place where there are ships and stuff. Meanwhile, this place actually looks like a battlefield. Of course, you could say that Zephyr was made into a battlefield because of this war. Personally, I think they're just in, they just like fighting things a lot more, which is weird because they're all blobs. But enough of my random speculation. Let's talk to this guy. Dang cannon just ain't working for me. You think you can blast that bird, soldier? Jump up here and give it a try. Well, I think I will. Honestly, I'm not sure how this guy missed, but we're gonna. Shoot it down, just like this. See? I didn't even have to move the, the freaking nozzle thing here. I just had to shoot. Also, there are some other things we can shoot with the cannon. Since we're here, we can go over here and aim at this thing right here. Oh man, that was a good shot. I just guessed. <laughs> and we can shoot down this pot here that's held up by a balloon. Easy as that. Also, two more things. Let's see. Yeah, I think it is. Let's see. Oop. Too high. Too high. We can blow up that door, and then we can also blow open this door with the cannon. Too high. Too low. There we go. Okay, that's the way to go, but we're gonna travel around here a little bit. We probably aren't going to get to Zephyr in the entirety of Zephyr in this episode. But we'll see how far we can get. 
Also, this is t the music in this level is just awesome. I love it so much. Anyway, where did those gems go? Just these? Maybe I guess it was. That's weird. Oh, I have a blue sparks. I need to fix that. There we go. Okay, now we have some new enemies who throw TNT. Just flame them and they go down without a fight. Oh, man. There we go. These guys are sucky. I love this. The, the little chicken thing is, is chasing the caterpillar. Not for you! Both of you have to die for the greater good of Zephyr. Look at that. He had a, he had a one-up butterfly in there. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Gonna move on then. Whoop. More. They're still calling for their their uh, mother things to drop bombs, but they're not gonna give them any in the cave. Anyway, now we need to blow this open. Oh, too low. There we go. More fodder because somehow I just keep losing life. I'm not sure how that happens. Of course, we are getting the. Whoa, man! I almost had it there. Ooh, do I want to do this now? No, I think I want to get the talisman first. Let's get back up there. It's a good thing they have this whirlwind here, otherwise, this would be really, really annoying to get back up here. Actually, I'm pretty sure the only way to get up here is through the whirlwind. So get this time. Yes! There we go. Okay, just avoid these TNTs now. Get this guy, and I just narrowly missed a bomb. That's some grade A dodging right there. Get an extra life, because I lost far too many. As you can see, I had ten lives to start out with, and I I guess I had five, like I got up earlier. Anyway, now what do we do? We have to go over this way, and there are more birds to destroy. We're working for both sides here. How terrible for either side. Okay, now we can blast open this door. And just aim like so. Ah. There we go, just barely. And there's a guy in there who has some TNT blows open that tower for whatever reason. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe he will tell us. After I destroy this container thing, I'm really not sure what to call those. We definitely have to go over. There we go. Gives us petty change. That's okay. What do you have to say, sir? Wow! What an explosion! It sure is a good thing I had my helmet on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, You kind of wanted me to give this talisman to you if you got through the Breeze Builder defenses. Good job, soldier. Well, thanks, Corporal Glug. And he gives us a talisman, which just happens to be a ruby ball. So you see, that definitely proves that Zephyr is quite the warlike state, unlike Breeze Harbor. He was just trying to ship harbor thing. I don't know. They're having a business, and they're doing it well, and Zephyr just happens to not like them very much. I guess that's how it works around here. Anyway, now that we've done that, we can start off this other little mini mission here. There are three here, and both, all three of them, I think, are pretty awesome. Let's talk to this guy over here. Look at this guy. My What's wrong with him? Is little Bo Peep, and I have lost my cowlicks. With these battles going on all the time, they keep running away. Can you help me get them back into my pen? Can you help me get them into my pen? It was a terrible impression of what I, that guy just said. I stutter too much. Anyway, okay. So these are cowlicks. Definitely bizarre looking creatures. But all we have to do is flame them or uh, run into them. And they will fly right into the pen. No problem. So that one was pretty easy, but now they get a little bit harder. Now the key here to know when you're hurting these cowlicks is 
when you flame them, they jump high, but when you push them, they go flying forward, which is pretty hilarious to watch. So, if you ever want them to get up steps, you gotta flame them, but if you want them to travel long distances, then you gotta hit them. It's a very clever maneuver that we have going on here. So, with this one, we're gonna wanna flame them. Like so. Luckily, the Calyx won't ever drop down from another step. <clears throat> they don't do that. So that's good at least. And now I think we can hit this guy. So we're gonna go flying forward. It's so comical. This, they, they soar through the air. They're so aerodynamic. Let's see if we can knock this guy into the pen. He's walking right toward it. There we go. That's three. <clears throat> All right, where are the other ones? Uh, that's a different mini game over there. I keep wanting to call them mini games. They're more like missions. Anyway, <clears throat> I think there are more over this way. Ah, this is a different one. Can't do that yet. But I think there might be Calyx down there. I'm not sure. We gotta find the other ones that are in this area. So maybe it is over here then. Okay, let's see what's up here. Climb the ladder. So glad I have the ladder now. That's great. Whoa, man. Okay, so there it is. Hey, super flame power up. Whatever would we need that for? Ah, okay, so hitting these will make him jump really, really high. It's great. Climb this ladder here so we can jump up. Get up there. Did he make it? I think he made it. Climb back up here, up this ladder. Which I failed to climb all the way. Oh well. So the vase, I'm not gonna worry about those. So now we can move this Calic all the way through. He just drops down. He doesn't even care. Look at them. They're so resilient. And into the pen with you. I said into the pen! There we go. That's four. Let's see if the last one is up this way. Climb up that thing, Spyro. Okay. Those birds are still dropping bombs, and I think I saw it. Get the base, Spyro! Jeez. Okay, more gems. Ah, yes, there is still one up here. Down here. So, let's get that super flame power up again. And we're gonna do this flame them upwards. It's so satisfying. I mean, it's not like the Calyx are asking for it, they just escaped. But it's so much fun to just wail on them. Tis the life of cattle, livestock, whatever. Whoop! Aw, oh, man! I not want to do that. It's okay, we don't need the super flame power up anymore. I mean, we do if we want to knock down that container, but I've been lazy lately for whatever reason. It's just what happens when you start playing a game for a length of time. Don't fall off there again, man. All right, down you go. Blah. And this is going to be the last one, and we will gain our rightfully deserved orb after he gets in his pen. Pen. Thanks, Spyro. Here's a little something, you know, for the effort. Oh, thanks. I think I'll take it. Sound like a southern plantation owner. You know what I'm saying? But he's just a there lonely are shepherd. Two more cowlicks out there somewhere, but I haven't seen them in days. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I think we're going to have to take care of those cowlicks and also the uh, seed challenge that I'll get to. Next episode on Let's Play Spyro 2. Thank you for watching. This has been Cadme Muffin, and I will see you again next time when we take care of those two missions.